Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video to book a reading with me. So hello everyone in the chat and hello to my mods. Thank you so much. So we're going to get into your reading. We're going to take a look at 2024, see what messages show up in love and life for you. Um, please make sure you bookmark this video or save the reading so you can come back and see how things go throughout the year for yourself and do share this video as well. All right, so let's get into this. So starting off in 2024, I do feel like you're going to get or hear some kind of confession. Someone's going to tell you something that I don't feel like you're going to expect to hear. It's not whispering or gossip. It's actually someone confessing either their feelings or telling you some kind of truth or something that they've been holding back this year. <clears throat> they have to tell you. They want to tell you. It's going to free up a lot of confusion in 2024 for you or if you've been confused about some things recently i do feel like what this person has to tell you look at the eyes on the person receiving the confession it's like a little shocking <clears throat> i don't feel like this is um i don't feel like it's bad but i do feel like it's more along the lines of like you never would have expected someone to confess something or the, a particular person to actually come out and say what they have to say to you. So I do feel like it's a positive thing and it may be something that you've been waiting to hear. So definitely look out for that in 2024, this confession. Also, you've got, they'll be back. So, hmm, we go. There's someone on your mind or someone that you're missing. I do feel like you'll hear from this person soon. Um, probably in the first half of the year, there's somebody coming back into your life. So you may receive an email or a message, maybe a text or a call, and it has a heart. So it does have to do with love. So I feel like this is a romantic connection with someone who um, is returning to your life this year. So yeah, keep your eye out for that as well. Hopefully it's someone you want to come back into your life. Okay. The next two, oh, you've got commitment. So, hmm, it looks like, Virgo, you're going to be in a committed relationship this year. <laughs> and maybe even engaged, perhaps. Okay? Something's going to get serious between you and another person. This could all tie in here together. Somebody might confess their feelings for you, tell you how they feel about you, that they're coming back into your life, and they want to get serious with you or have a serious relationship and take it like full on to the full on next level and you also have cycles fate karma something ending and something is beginning so i feel like overall virgo the messages for this year is like ugh, everything is changing you might even be feeling this energy now as this video the reading is being done in december um especially mercury retrograde and if you're listening to this later in the year you might already be experiencing this but yeah, Virgo, as far as love and relationships go, there's definitely a new cycle happening. All right, now let's go month by month. Well, let's not go month by month. Let's, let me see here. Mm, yeah, let's go month by month. So beginning in January, look at this. You've got the star. So Virgo, this is Aquarius energy. This is healing. This is renewal. This is getting a sense of hope back. And... It's kind of like when I look at this person pouring the water out onto the snow, it's melting away the coldness. I feel like you start thawing <laughs> for with the new year. Your heart warms up. You know, you're able to remove that uh, ice shell that maybe you have around you. If, if you're that Virgo that has just been kind of like secluding yourself in the cold or just trying to like stay out of harms stay out of the elements stay out of the harshness whether it's weather or just people or situations in your life i feel like there's a sense of like following your your dreams your wishes the star is a wish card so starting at the beginning of 2024 especially in january 
I feel like there's a wish that's going to come true for you that is going to melt away the ice and the cold, you know, or will allow you to do this. There's a sense of hope. You So you get your hope back, which is beautiful. January looks amazing as far as feeling refreshed and having your hope back. Now, February, <clears throat> you've got the Ace of Cups. So there's a new love start happening. Wow. New beginnings. Key emotional developments that will make you feel absolutely amazing. It just feels so good. You know, um, fulfillment. Some of you, there might be a new baby. There could be a renewal of, of the love um, or a new love with someone in February. February is a month of love, of course. So there is that energy of romance. And I, I'm just getting this sense of like feeling those tingles. Again, um, th this is like a gift of love that comes to you where you might not feel like or maybe you were giving up hope or you might not feel, I don't know, some of you feel like you don't deserve love. You absolutely do. And this this just gives me like the sense of, you know, God or the universe is just, you know, like here is the opportunity to have a brand new beginning, especially in February. Like love happens in February. So it could be with a water sign. So keep, your, keep yourself ready for that. You may experience that. Okay. Now March. Wow. So there's definitely a reunion happening in March. Um, socializing, more activity or heart warming experiences with friends or sisters or brothers. There's a trio. I feel like there's a trio. So maybe you and you have a couple of friends that you got, or, yeah, always hang out with. Um, I see like, I see a lot of emotional support around you in March, people celebrating you. Um, you might have an achievement of some sort that you receive and, and there's like a party. This kind of gives me a sense of like a happy hour energy. A lot of friends, a lot of fun. May even be an emotional reunion with friends or dating or meeting other people in March. Looks, uh, March is like spring, you know. Um, it feels youthful to me. It's like having a new, um, not so much new, but there could be an engagement party too it's being celebrated for you. You might be getting engaged. You are. I mean, I feel like there's a commitment of some type of um, engagement. There might be a party or some kind of, um, yeah, fantastic like celebration of you with other people. Now in April, you have judgment. Okay. So this is definitely an energy of things coming out into the open. This is like final clarity and awakening in April. You'll experience like, wow, I know I have the clarity. I know what I need to do. I know where I need to go. This is Scorpio energy. Um, and even coinciding with this confession, um, April, like I said, the first half of the year, someone opens up to you and confesses everything from day one to present tells you like it's like an open book you know coming out of the dark coming out of a period of um you know how everybody's kind of in these like coffin looking things healing coming up coming out yes there's definitely a coming out and a revelation happening in april now may okay you've got the king of cups so the king of cups will be significant for you in may um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So the King of Cups is someone who is very supportive, very loving, wise, emotional IQ is very high, masculine or feminine energy. This person, there may be a connection to the sea with this person. Um, Neptune energy, of course, so Pisces there. But there is significance to this King of Cups in May. Okay, so they will be very present in your life in May. Okay, now for June, okay, so June looks like a reconciliation with someone from your past, so you will be connecting with someone in June, um, now I'm hearing Father's Day, children as well, or children will be significant, 
um, maybe something to do with two, two children. There may be, um, you may have your children are coming to see you or they're, they're no longer fighting and they, they make apologies to each other. Um, in June, there is kindness as well. I'm hearing also Mother's Day or Father's Day, but I feel like June is going to, there's definitely someone, the biggest message is someone from your past is returning to your life in June. And this is very sincere energy. So there's kindness, there's, um, I'm feeling like someone might bring you flowers. You might give someone flowers as well in June. Very significant for a return uh, and no longer being stuck in the past, but um, coming to revisit it. So there's a visit. You might receive a visit. Okay. Wow. So July, there's definitely a soulmate, a love connection happening in July for some of you. Um, and this feels very romantic to me, although it could be the start of something romantic. Um, you meeting somebody or agreeing to meet someone, this is a mutual. So this does feel like a masculine and a feminine energy together, coming together. So I do get a sense that, uh, there will be a sharing of ideas and emotions and feelings in June. So you are, there's definitely going to be a connection that you make in June where you meet someone who will be very significant to you, but on the same page as you, you know, like very soulmate. You might have like some people in your life where, you know, oh yeah, we have a few things in common. This is like someone, it's either a new friend or it's a friend that you had a connection with before or a lover. Um, where you guys were on the same page before and maybe you lost touch but you reconnect again and a relationship begins to rebuild once more um this is a very profound relationship this you know we all have all kinds of soulmates you know but this is very profound you see each other you see yourself in each other definitely so yeah i feel like um july is very significant for this this meeting the one for, for those of you who are single as a Pringle. Okay. August. Okay. So August, wow. looks like a decision is being made. Someone brings you a gift in August as well. Um, if you have an August birthday, yes, someone is making travel plans or sending you a gift in August for a birthday. But there is a decision that's on the table here, uh, someone might be deciding whether or not to send a gift to you. They're going to do it. They might be trying to figure out which gift it is. But I do feel like um, perhaps the end of August, you will receive um, something very beautiful. It's well thought out. That's what I want to say. And with these roses here at the bottom, I do feel like it's romantic. So there is a romantic gift coming. And... It's interesting, I'm looking at these three birds up at the top here, and they're giving me a sense of freedom or travel, mostly travel. Yeah, so you might be, somebody might be traveling to you in August, or you might be traveling to them or receive a gift of travel um, to go somewhere, either to go where someone is or for them to come to you there is a dove of peace here so it does feel like it brings a sense of peace or this gift or offering that's coming to you is being made out of peace as well okay september wow okay so you have your card virgo september listen i just want to say from the time that this video is this reading is being made September will be in like the nine month period. So some of you will be delivering a baby. <laughs> if you have been um, single and you decided that you wanted to have a baby and um, uh, be a single mom or do it on your own, I feel like there was an energy of pregnancy in March. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Um, 
September, so you might go early. Okay, so, or somebody might go early. Okay, but definitely um, I'm seeing if you're young and, and you know, you're still having kids or you haven't had a child yet and you can still have children and you've been wanting a child, you either deliver or you find out about a pregnancy in September, whether it's yours, it could be somebody else's. Apart from that though, Virgo, I also feel like this is an energy of like, if you've been working on yourself your money, your health. September is when you'll reach your peak. Okay. So, you know, whatever your goals have been, I feel like September, you're going to be at that goal. You're going to hit that goal in September. You might hit it sooner if you try harder, but it's no later than December or September for sure. But you will have um, money in the bank, um, maybe a new wardrobe, feeling physically good, looking physically good. This is just a card of stability, happiness, independence. September looks amazing for that. And I feel like that's going to happen for you in September. So, you know, you might be there already, but maybe you might decide, oh, there's a few more things you can do and you're going to try that. So I do feel like whatever goals that you're setting now or have been setting, you reach them in September and you're looking amazing, Virgo. Okay, October. Wow. So you've got the Eight of Cups. So, hmm. Virgo, it feels like you reach your goals in September and then you're like, wait, 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 wait. I want to add another one. So uh, I see you in constant movement. I see you seeking. Um, you know, with the star card in the beginning of the reading and having this very similar star in this card, your whole uh, year of 2024 is being about setting out to fulfill your dreams and your wishes, okay? I don't feel like your wishes are just gonna magically come true for you. I feel like it's because of your hard work and your effort that you're putting in to put yourself out there and manifest those wishes and dreams. It feels like, it feels like um, October, you're like, I'm not finished yet. No, I'm not done, I must keep going. I feel like you're gonna set back out on a journey to try to, to try to follow again your wishes and your hopes and dreams and go after what that ninth cup again or try to make that happen for yourself. So yeah, it looks like October is you really putting in the effort and the work to find a way to um, keep going, keep manifesting, a lot, a, a lot of movement in October. You see how this person here is walking? They are, you know, they have their, their stick there, their cane, they're, they're, they're hiking, they're walking, they're moving. They're, they've already stacked up um, their eight cups, right? Up until August, September, you hit a plat plateau, like you're there, you get there, but then you're like, not a plateau, you get there and then you're like, oh, no, 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 I got to keep going. So Virgo, it's so typical of you to not stop, to keep going after your wishes and dreams. And then, of course whatever you're going after, November, it comes. <laughs> Some of you might be like, okay, I got to keep moving. I hit my, my goal weight and I can't, if I don't keep moving, I'm going to turn into this person. <laughs> Just be like uh, eating and picking out in November. But I feel like November is very positive because whatever you're seeking in October, you get that fulfillment, that wish comes for you by your actions. It comes to you in November. Absolutely. Like this is total fulfillment, joy, another wish card, happiness, like your whole year so far, Virgo looks amazing. And you know, people are like, Oh, 2024 is going to be horrible. There's so much going on in the world. And Virgo's like, I don't listen to that. I'm going after what I want. And guess what? Here is December. Amazing. 2024, the 10 of cups, Happiness for your family, happiness for yourself, possibly marriage, emotional, complete emotional fulfillment. Your whole year of 2024 looks astounding. It looks absolutely amazing. I know there's three people here on the 10 and they're all like Christmas carol carolers. Look how cute they are. But this is like joyous. Some of you are going to actually be in that band. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're working towards, a musical career. Um, Whatever it is, Virgo, you're on a mission. You're not stopping until you get to where you go. And I feel like December will be a time for absolute celebration and happiness. 
I see you just kind of like kicking back and be like, I am the sh ish. I am the ish. No one. Like, I have done it. It's so much. It's not like it's pr being proud of yourself because of your accomplishments. And you feel that in, in December this time next year. So it looks like your whole life for the following year is going to be absolutely amazing, especially ending with that Ten of Cups. Um, I want to give you a charm for the year to see what message there is here for you. Okay. Oh, okay. So they're giving you hmm, a shamrock. So this is an energy of being lucky, Virgo. Uh, you, this whole year, 2024 is going to be a lucky year for you based on what I'm picking up here. This is going to be a time of luck. I can't, uh, let me see if I can try to hold this better so you can see it. <laughs> there you go. Don't mind my, my nails there, but yeah, this is going to be a time of luck. Um, there may be some connection to Ireland, but I feel like this is going to be a time for you where... Everything that you touch, Virgo, uh, turns to gold. It's just a time of luck and joy and happiness. And even when I look at the shamrock, it looks like four hearts. I do feel like there's going to be some very happy Virgos. Um, Virgo, you and maybe four other people, or three other people, excuse me. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like a, like a lucky charm as far as... If you play a lottery, if you, you know, everything you touch, like you're lucky this year. It's just like a very lucky year. Everything just kind of works out for you, you know? I feel like, Virgo, if you don't get your fingers and hands into things, uh, just let things flow and just keep following the path. Like opportunities and doors will open for you. And to just walk through those doors, to just be present to those opportunities and take them when they come you know, but don't hide away. Put yourself out there so that you can receive because I feel like you're going to receive all of your wishes this year. I really do. So I'm going to leave that for you, Virgos. I hope that you enjoyed that. It was a little bit of a quickie, but do, like I said, save it in your playlist or your watch later here on YouTube. Bookmark it. Come back to it. You can look, go by month month by month to see how things are going to pan out for you in 2024. And yes, I wish you all a beautiful, wonderful, magical manifestation of 2024. And I will see you all back here very soon. Take care. So many things that I left I am